when it comes to purchasing power supplies, there tend to be a lot of different opinions out there. Some tend to buy what can almost be considered literal garbage, others spend way too much money on overpowered models and stick to only one specific brand, even though that one brand also has some fairly questionable products for sale. I'm part of the group that is paranoid and overcautious that spends too much. So here's my question, is this actually a good or bad power supply? While Cougar is a pretty reputable brand, there are some mixed feelings among the enthusiast community. So in today's video, I'll be going over what the Cougar GEX850 850 Watt PSU has to offer in terms of features as well as quality and will then additionally take a look under its hood and even do some basic testing. You'll be hearing my thoughts on the GEX850. The price for the 850 watt version is currently somewhere in between 90 and 130 US dollars, depending on where you purchase it, and that seems to be a reasonable price for an 80 plus gold certified unit. As far as what comes included, there's everything we'd come to expect. Besides the GEX850 itself, there are all the cables, as well as screws, the power cord, and even a little bit of paper documentation. As far as quality is concerned, we simply cannot be talking of garbage here, otherwise a brand like Cougar wouldn't back this up with a 5 year warranty. I know it doesn't really matter, but aesthetically speaking, this PSU is kept fairly sleek and yet appears very elegant. I like it. Just to let you know, this is not one of the newer ATX 3.0 units out there, but still one of the classic ATX 2.4 PSUs. As already mentioned, all cables are detachable. We are therefore talking of a fully modular design. Important and worth noting is that we are dealing with a single rail power supply, meaning only a single plus 12 volt rail is doing its job here, continuously providing up to roughly 71 amps, and that even at an ambient temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. The efficiency at up to 91% is rated at 80 plus gold. All protections we'd come to expect and need are in place. Now the unit is being cooled by Cougar's very own 120mm fan going by the name of VB120. It comes with a hydrodynamic bearing by the way. On the rear of the PSU there's even a little note telling us that the fan will not turn on under light loads and will therefore remain off. We see this so-called zero noise mode implemented here, which however is controlled automatically. Up to a PSU load of 40%, the unit will be operating noiseless without the fan spinning up, and at 100% load, the fan speed will remain below the 1800 RPM mark. Generally speaking, I do like that feature, but would prefer having the option to let the fan spin constantly, even if at very low fan speeds. The cable length, in my opinion, is decent. The 24 pin power connector is nylon braided, the classic way, while the remaining cables are of the type flat ribbon. For 850 watts, there are plenty of power connectors provided. That's 6 pieces of PCIe 8 pin, 8 pieces of SATA, 6 pieces of Molex, 1 floppy, and even 2 pieces of CPU power connectors that are on one and the same cable. Well, I'd say let's open this unit up now and take a look at its internal components. At this point, I'd like to warn you that opening up power supplies and touching any of their internal parts can cost you your life. Be warned. As a matter of fact, at first glance, the platform used here is worth praising. Everything appears to be up to the latest standards. Still, I'd like to make it clear that I am not a professional when it comes to power supplies. One can assume the OEM behind this platform is XHY. It is known for some not so great, but also really good units as used by Cooler Master. We are definitely looking at LLC converters, as well as synchronous rectification, and needless to say, DC to DC conversion for plus 3.3 and plus 5 volts. Cougar happens to be advertising their GEX850 with high quality Japanese capacitors. That certainly can be confirmed on the primary side when glancing over to the single electrolytic cap, 400 volts and 680 microfarad by the brand Nippon Chemican. 
a great choice indeed. Now when moving on to the secondary side, there is a mix of Nippon Kimikan and Elite, the latter originating from Taiwan. As far as solid caps are concerned, we are looking at ones by the Japanese brand FP Cap and have only had good experiences dealing with those. So all that's left now are tests with this power supply. Unfortunately, I hardly can offer you anything good here since neither do I have the technical possibilities nor the knowledge. Starting off by measuring the voltage of the respective rails 3.3, 5 and 12 volts. The first test at a low load. The 3.3 and 5 volt rails seem to be performing almost perfectly here. There's a slight deviation on the 12 volt rail, but it's all within standard. Those measurements might be more interesting at a slightly higher load of up to 450 watts. Practically speaking, we are looking at the same result here, so it appears the voltage is very stable in layman's terms. Last but not least, I wanted to know how efficiently the power supply is actually operating. Not really surprising, it performs about as well as comparable 80 plus gold units out there, almost down to the watt. So the bottom line here is that you don't need to fear picking up the GEX850 by Cougar. There definitely seems to be quality behind it, maybe even slightly higher quality than seen on some of the more popular choices out there in this price range. The noise levels are fantastic, simply because the fan doesn't turn on when the PSU load is below 40%. Nonetheless, I do wish for more control here. I want to be given the choice to either choose the zero noise mode or have the fan spinning constantly. That's probably my only gripe with this GEX850. Other than that, I am pretty happy with it and can therefore recommend it. However, there are lots and lots of great choices on the market right now. The choices are almost endless. With that said, thanks so much for watching and until the next one.